back to my YouTube channel that is Maths with Shivangi Nagar. In this video session, we will discuss the 13.8 question number 6. So, let's start what the question says. A hemispherical tank is made up of an iron sheet of 1 cm thick. We are given a hemispherical tank which is made up of a certain material that is called the iron sheet and that iron sheet thickness is given to us. It is what? 1 cm. So, if you see this diagram. Okay, so what is the thickness? This part, this part is the thickness of the sheet and this is what? 1 centimeter. And also we are given what? We are given the inner radius, inner radius of that hemispherical ball. That means uh, the, the, if this is the center of this hemispherical ball, okay, so the distance between the inner, uh, inner boundary and the center, if you take this as this r1 okay so this is called the inner radius r1 which is given to us how many it is given to us one meter so inner radius if we let it as r1 it is given one meter and what about the outer radius so our outer radius we have taken as r2 and it is nothing but what inner radius plus thickness if you see here clearly so this should be the outer radius okay so it is what it is the sum of the inner radius plus the what to this thickness so r2 is what 1 meter plus 1 centimeter now to add it further i have to convert the centimeter into meter so i know that 1 centimeter is equals to 1 upon 100 meter so i have just to divide this one with the 100 error and convert it into meter now 1 upon 100 can be written as 0 0.01 so now both the quantities are converted into meters so i can easily add them so what is the r2 r2 means outer radius is 1.01 meter now i have to find out the volume of the iron used to make this tank that means i have to uh, find out that uh, how much uh, amount of iron sheet is used here so how much amount of iron sheet is used here? so can i say it is equal to the volume of this hemispherical tank okay but uh, and what is that uh, hemispherical tank we heard this uh, that uh, sheet is uh, used here so this sheet is used here in this part only the inner part is what the inner part is empty here so how to work on it so what volume of iron is used here and where it is used here so see students if you eliminate the volume of the inner hemisphere both the outer and the inner part inner empty part is also visible what it is of the hemispherical shape so if you find if you find the volume of the inner hemisphere and if you eliminate it from the volume of the entire outer hemisphere. So, what you will get? You will get that only part where the iron material is used to make that hemispherical bowl or hemispherical tank, right? So, the same thing we have to do here. So, what is the volume of outer hemisphere? 2 by 3 pi r2 cube and volume of inner hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r1 cube here. Now, 2 upon 3 pi is common in both the quantities. So, I have taken common outside. So, what we are left over with R2 whole cube minus R1 whole cube. Then, uh, I have put the value of pi over here as 22 upon 7 and the R2 and the R1 values we have put here. Now, 2 into 22 is 44 and 3 into 7 is what? 21. And 1.01 whole cube is what? 1.030301. And 1 cube is what? as it is one only now when you solve this bracket you have to do subtraction so when you subtract the one from this number what you will get you will get a 0 0.030301 and when you multiply all these quantities and uh, uh, you divide it with the 21 what you will get you will get the ultimately 0 0.06348 meter cube and if you have to write it up to three decimals so what you have to do you just have to see the third number and the fourth number if you see the fourth number what you have four over here okay so it is less than five so what your answer reduced to in the approximation form so your answer reduces into 0 0.063 meter cube and don't forget to write the approx word here clear so this much volume of the iron sheet we are required to form this type of hemispherical tank so, if you got the solution of uh, this question, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up by clicking the like button and uh, if you are new to my channel, then please do subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any of my updates. Till then, bye bye, take care, see you in my next video with the next question solution.